All right, I'm gonna get you some sticks here. Let's see. These work. Here you go, brand new sticks. Those are really awesome quality sticks. We're actually not able to get those anymore. So you guys are gonna get some of the best sticks that uh, we have left of that batch. And then I'm gonna have to start deciding what sticks to replace them with. Okay. Have you played any instruments before? No. What about in school? No. We, they're getting out banned for some reason. Um, your mom probably told me, what school do you go to? I don't remember. Um, C.H. Price. Where is this? Uh, in Hawthorne. Stage Price, is that, I've never heard of that. C.H. Um, it's... Is that, is that a private school? Mm -mm. It's... It's a public school? Yeah. What was it, just a, is it a middle school? What, what grade middle are you Middle school. I'm in, going to eighth. So will you be going to Hawthorne next year? Okay. I always thought that there was just one middle school in Hawthorne. I guess there's more than one, huh? I think there's like three. Like Hawthorne has a middle school, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, because I thought Hawthorne was a middle school and a high school. Wait, hold up. My bad. It's in Interlochen. I just remembered. Cause... You're going to school in Interlochen? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay, thanks for uh, verifying that for me. So what were you saying about the band? Um, they're taking a lot of stuff out of it for some reason. But in high school, they should have a lot more. Yeah. Um, there's usually kind of two things that happen with that. Sometimes it's money, just they don't have the money for it. So uh, like, that, that people don't. have to get paid and they have to buy equipment and all that kind of stuff. Um, another reason why that happens is maybe lack of interest. Like if there's not enough people interested in something, Everybody then it's hard to provide it. What's that? Everybody goes to PE. You can tell if Well, everybody loves to run hall. around and throw balls around, right? You can tell if you walk down the hallway, you can see who goes to band and who goes to PE. Usually if they have glasses, they're going to band. And if they don't have glasses, it's mostly PE. Anybody? Yeah. I, I can certainly understand that. When I was, like, really young, um, and I would wear my glasses to school, I enjoyed PE a lot. But every time I... Inevitably, I'd get a, a, a ball in my face and it would break my glasses or something, right? Yeah, those kids, too. That the ones that try to um, they love it, and I'm mostly friends with them because I like um hanging out with them because they're they're usually funny. With, <laughs> and it's just which ones which ones are funny? The, uh, ones? the ones with the glasses. Oh, okay. And then from the like funny in a good way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, um, let's see here. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our feet and turn them around facing this way. And here's what you can expect today. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about what we're playing. We're going to talk about how to hold the sticks. And then we're going to try playing a few things. And I'll show you what to do. And then I'm going to test you out on a few stuff, see how you do with that. We're going to learn how to read some sheet music. So some music on a page that you can read. We're going to talk about that some. And then we're going to spend a little bit of time uh, doing what I call free play with a song. And I'll explain how that works. So first thing is let's, uh, let's actually kind of do a little bit of reverse order. Let's talk about how to hold the sticks first. What I want you to do is look like me. And you look great. You actually look great. So look at the way you're holding the sticks. I love the way that you're holding it. So I want to draw your attention to something that you probably can't see very well. Your most, most of your grip's gonna be between your thumb and your first finger here. So this is actually where you're kind of holding the stick. You're pinching there. But I do like that you're keeping your fingers under the stick because if you don't do that, your stick's gonna flop around. But if you put the fingers there, see it doesn't flop around, it stays where it is, okay? Here's what I want you to do. We're gonna hit the drum right in front of you eight times. Don't play it yet, watch me, and then I want you to try it. Give that a shot. Cool, so let's draw attention to something. You did exactly what I wanted you to do. Now, we're gonna change it slightly. Instead of just hitting it eight times, I want you to think of it like you're dribbling a basketball. When you dribble a basketball, it kind of bounces up, right? Mm -hmm. So I want you to allow the stick to do the same thing. You see how it's just bouncing up on its own? So what that means is when you hit it, you're going to feel it want to come back up. Let it come back up without flopping it around. So try that again. Eight times, but let it bounce. Good. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, try it with your other hand. Awesome. Very good. Okay, so now that you're holding the sticks really well, and you are, I like that, um, let's talk about the names of the drums. So what we're playing on is called an electronic drum set. You probably don't get to see these as much, but the reason why we use them here is it's not super loud, it doesn't take up a lot of space, 
So when we're playing, I can talk to you and we have space to be able to do things like move things around or point to stuff or I can help you move your hands, whatever. <clears throat> so the drum that you were just playing right in front of you, that's called a snare drum. Hit that and listen to the sound of it. So you notice it has kind of a snappy sound? So that's a snare drum, okay? And on a real drum, what that is, is it's a drum that looks like a drum that you've seen before, but on the bottom side of it, it has these wires that when you hit the top part of it, the bottom wires kind of slap the bottom of the drum, and that's where that snappy sound comes from. And down the road, we'll mess with a real drum set, and you'll get to see all these things. But today, we're going to focus on this. I so, had on my phone an app, a drumming app that I would use all the time. Okay, that's great. So you're kind of familiar with the setup. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try using our foot down here. Press that pedal. Yeah, awesome. So we're not going to use the pedals on this side today, so we're just going to focus on this one if we do use it. Okay, so that's called the bass drum. Say bass drum. Bass drum. Say snare drum. Snare. And the reason why I'm having you say the name is that's going to help you remember what it is, okay? Then we have three tom-toms. Do what I just did. This one, this one, this one. Mm -hmm. So you'll notice they have a similar sound, but you have a high one, a low one, and then a mid-pitched mid one, okay? So high, middle, low. Do that again? Okay. High, middle, low. So what I typically call them is high tom-tom, middle tom-tom, low tom-tom, okay? All right, and then we have three types of cymbals that we're gonna deal with. Over here, like that. That's called the ride cymbal, like you're riding in a car. Say ride cymbal. Ride cymbal. And then the other one over here, Sounds like a crash, so that's a crash symbol. It's all, I know it all. Yeah, because it's just like the setup on my phone. Okay, well we're missing one then. What, what did we not go over yet? Look at this and think about what did we not do? This one. No, we did that one. Hit it. You did? Yeah. Oh yeah, this one. Okay, hit it. So what do you think that is? If you remember from your phone, what do you think that is? Okay, give me a second. Oh my god, I know it. I know it, and I remember because I used this one a couple of times during a little thing I did. Okay, yeah, yeah. Beginning of the letter, of the first H, letter. H. H. Just give it to me, it's gonna kill okay, me. Okay, hi hat. Hi hat. Whoa, that's not what it was called on mine. Must have been called. I don't know what you were thinking of, but the hi hat is a very prominent instrument on a drum set. We use the hi hat a lot. Okay, so let's go, let's repeat them all and make sure we remember them. Let's start at the bottom this time. Play that. What's that called? Bass. Bass drum. What's this one? Snare. All right, hit that for me. The reason why we're doing that is I want you to not only know where it is and be able to say what the name is, but also associate that with the sound that it is. So like, let's say your eyes were closed. Actually, close your eyes for me. Tell me what this is. Uh, is it that one? Hit that. Like, oh, yeah. I heard that. Take, take a guess. See if you can figure it out. Okay, can I go through all of them? Mm-hmm. This one? I knew that. And what did I call that? Um... It said something about a car. Right, right, right. Right symbol, okay. And this was the crash. Okay, cool. Okay. I want to get another thing, so let's speed this up a little bit. Bass drum, hit that. Bass. Snare drum. Snare. Low tom tom. Middle tom tom. Middle tom tom. High tom tom. High tom tom. Ride symbol. Ride. Crash symbol. Crash. And then hi hat. Hi hat. Okay? So every lesson during your trial, we'll review this in some way because we want you to memorize what these are called. Because this is the instrument that you're going to play. All right. So if we're ever talking about do such and such on such and such symbol or drum, you'll know what I'm talking about. Also, if you hear the instrument in a recording, you'll be able to hear it and you'll be like, oh, that's a snare drum. Oh, that's a bass drum, right? Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to understand what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is something I call copycat. And it literally is what it sounds like it is. I'm going to play something really short with a certain rhythm on certain instruments, and then I want you to try to copy what I'm doing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's your first one. Yeah. 
So you're like five for five, however many that was. That means you're doing really great. We're gonna try some harder ones, okay? All right. stick five what that is is you hit my sticks with your sticks so it's kind of like giving a high five but oh. we, that's the way drummers do it cool try it again stick five all right great all right so i think we're going to start learning how to read some music now so let me get you your book so this will be your copy to keep and uh you and jaylen are going to share this um okay all right i think you're going to dig this it's it's not going to be as complicated as it looks i promise you and it's also really simple counting Okay, these notes at the top, they have X's on them. Do you see those X's? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it looks like that instead of having a solid circle, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so put both your sticks just in front of you like that. All right, so what you're going to do is this hand is going to go up to here, and this X means you play that. So if you see four of them, you're going to go one, two, three, four. Try that note. Easy, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one measure. Between this line and this line, that's one measure. That's the second measure, third measure, fourth measure, fifth measure, or the last measure on this line. So now you know what a measure is, now you know what the hi-hat notes are, now you know what a line is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, down here, that's the bass drum. So when you see that, you're gonna hit the bass drum. Try it. And how many times do you see it hit? One. One, and then a whole bunch of nothing, right? Mm -hmm. All right, play that. So that's the second measure, third measure, fourth measure and the last one. All right, so now when you see them stacked up on top of each other like that, that means you play them at the same time. So what I want you to do is you're gonna play what I call beat one. So beat one is whatever's happening where that one is. So you got the bass drum and the hi-hat and you hit it together. Try that. Easy, right? Mm -hmm. So now play everything that you see here. So like we start? Yeah, we're just gonna play this much. So you're gonna play the bass drum and the hi-hat uh, together and then hi-hat, hi-hat, hi-hat. Don't worry about playing it fast. It's more important that it's correct. Right. Perfect. That's easy, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the same thing as that and that and that and then this is an ending. So these are rests. They just indicate you're not playing anything there. We'll talk more about rest another time. So what I want you to do is play this whole line just the way you see it and stop where it says to stop. Is that is that one? Do I do that one too? Yeah, you play that at the end. Alright, so... You nailed it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. That was exactly what I wanted you to do. Yeah. Is that clear to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, with number two, the only thing that changes is where you're playing the bass drum. The rest of it's the same. Okay? So I want you to play number two, but just because it's getting easier for you, I don't want you to speed up. Keep it slow because I want to make sure you understand it in your mind and that it's correct. We can always speed things up later. All right. So... All right. Try that. Any questions about that one? Please. All right, try number three. I'm not going to point anymore. Three, okay, so. Good, number four. All right, hold on. Number four, right? Uh, what were we doing? Yeah. All right, um, slow it down a little bit. The reason why we slowed it down is it helps you just keep yourself together. And like I said, we can always speed it up later, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, number five. We have a new note there. That's going to be on the snare drum. So we were doing this, right? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to do this. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. Which okay. one did you hit first? 
Well, look at it. When they're on top of each other, that means you hit them together, right? Oh. Okay, I got it. Okay. So, so we're doing the same stuff, but we're hitting a different drum. So... We're on number five. All right, perfect, except you just played one extra note, but I'm not going to worry oh. about that. You did great. All right, let's look at number six. Six. Okay, got it. So, um, this one first, and this one? Together. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. No, wait, make, sure, make sure you slow down and count. All right. So and what I mean by count is you don't have to count out loud, but I, I want you to know where you are in your head. So you know right. that snare drum happens on the second one, right? So it's going to be on two. So counting it in your head, you would do it. This is what you would be thinking. One. Alright, go for it. That was it? And then one more note. Oh, this one? Oh, wait, did it, where's it? Look at it. What does it tell you to do? Right. Perfect, yep. <laughs> okay, number seven. Uh. Turn the page, and when you turn it, it fold it so it stays open. Because it'll want to close on you. <laughs> Alright, so number eight. Play what it says there. Is that the, um, the, the same thing? So number eight's the same thing, but you're gonna play that snare drum on which beat? Um, four. Good job. Okay, so. Good. All right. So number nine. Number nine's the same thing, but what you're gonna do? Well, fold it harder so it stays open. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, make sure you get the top and the bottom. That way it'll stay open. Okay, so with number nine, what do you see happening? Um, the bass and this and this playing at the same time. Good. So cross your hands. Yes. Yep. Like like we've been doing. Okay. All so right. you're gonna play all three at the same time on beat one. So um. Let's see. Uh. That. Yep. And and keep it slow. Okay. All right. So. And why are we Last. playing it slow? Uh, so we can learn it. Yeah, like so we. Uh, well, here's what t typically happens: is when you play things too fast, our mind can't keep up with it. it. Skips it. If it's new for us, but over time, our, we're able to think about it a little quicker. Okay. Oh. So let's keep it slow because that'll help us keep our mind and our body together. That All was right. number ten, right? Uh, yes. Let's. Uh, nine. Oh. Nine. Right. Try that again. Okay. So. Perfect. Okay, let's do one more of these. Um, number 10, you have the bass drum first and then the snare drum second. And what most people want to do is play this too fast. So don't play it fast, play it slow. So the bass and the snare. Okay, so. Um, not quite, almost. What happens first? Look at it. Bass drum and then the top thing. What's the top thing? Um, don't, don't wait. The, uh, it starts with an H. The. Okay, I got it, I got it. The, was it like with something with hat? Hi-hat. Hi-hat, yeah. Okay, there you so go. So beat one is the bass drum and the hi-hat, and then beat two is what two drums? Or two instruments? Um, these, these, Yeah, but keep your hands crossed. I'll explain later why we cross them. Don't worry about that right now, but just. This comfortable crossing it. Okay, we'll just do that for now, okay? So, try number 10. Okay. If you get that right, then we're done with this one for today, and we can do something else. Okay, so. So, bass and the hi-hat. 
then the bass, no, no, yeah, no, that's the snare. Okay, so bass, and the hi-hat, and then the snare, and then the hi-hat again, twice. Okay, I got this. Alright. So, um... Just do it one step at a time, it doesn't have to be great right now. That, mm -hmm. and then, is it the snare? Mm-hmm. With the hi-hat, though. Oh. Then... Right. Then... Then you do it again. Okay, so, alright, I got this. Uh, bass, snare, I, I, then bass, snare, no, snare, then I, I, then uh, bass, snare, I, I, then it repeats. Okay. Good, let's try that one more time. Do that line. Uh, the whole line? Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Wait, Not too fast though, right? Alright, okay, so. Uh, that counts as a whole. I was just You're really, good. That yeah. was really slow. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> okay. You know what, just start from the beginning, but keep it real slow. Alright, okay, so. No, really, I messed up. Okay. All right, you got that though. That was good. Okay. All right, you did great. So this might seem kind of strange, but it, this is normal, okay? Um, what's a song that you really dig? Do you know the name of a song or a group that you like a lot? That you can tell me they have, you know, right off the top of your head here. I got it. Okay, all right, here we go. It's her favorite band, but I like it too a little bit. Because I like Eminem, but I'm not doing him. I like... If you can't remember it, I can pick something. You pick something. It's gonna kill him. Um, okay. Um, it really doesn't matter what we do it to today, but we're gonna play, uh, just because it came to my mind, we're gonna play with a Skrillex song. And what we're, here's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna do something I call free play. And what that is, is I want you to just play whatever you want. You don't have to play what you hear in the recording. You don't have to play what I'm playing. I just want you to experiment with the sounds and just see how things work with the song. That's all we're trying to do right now, okay? All right, don't overthink it too much, just have fun with it. So this is an opportunity for you to be experimental and just check things out. You have any questions yeah. about that? That's simple, right? Yeah. At the Home Depot, you can stop pinning and start painting. And after that, um, I'm gonna paint work with Jalen. All right, to turn the so the song will be on after this uh, commercial here. room designed for sharing. Now get the best paint for any budget starting at 1897. The Home Depot. So you can play whatever you want, it's like this stuff. Don't think too much about it, you already think too much. Just start hitting things.
gonna stop with that. I'm gonna get to uh, Jalen, but you did awesome. Give me a stick five. We're gonna talk about homework and stuff all together a little bit later, okay? Okay. So let's get her in there. You can keep those sticks, and let's leave this book up here.